Happy holidays and welcome back to another edition of the Post Media Senators Panel. I'm Bruce Garriott, sitting by my tree, enjoying the holiday season. You know, it's been a strange 2020 for the whole world, and it's also been different for the Ottawa Senators. It started out with the highlight of Brady Kachuk playing the All-Star game in his hometown of St. Louis with winger Anthony Duclair. And from there, goaltender Craig Anderson won his 200th NHL game on February 18th, the same night that Chris Phillips had his number four jersey pulled to the rafter at the Canadian Tire Centre. From there, Dylan DeMello, Jean Gabriel Pajo, Vladislav Nemesnikov, and Tyler Innest were dealt by G GM Pierre Dorian before the deadline, and future assets were brought back to help the club in its rebuild. Then, from there, the world changed on March 11th. That's when the Ottawa Senators and Los Angeles Kings played at the Staples Center in LA, and the Senators dropped a 3-2 decision that ended approximately 1.30 a.m. Eastern and was the final professional game in any sport in North America before the, the league went into lockdown. After that, the Senators never played again. Of course, it was costly for the Senators because prospects like Drake Bratherson, Alex Formanton, Josh Norris, and others didn't get the opportunity to develop under coach Troy Mann with a long playoff run in Belleville. From there, Dorian had to roll up his sleeves and try to rebuild this team when the draft rolled around in October. And there were a lot of changes that had to be made. First, the clubs chose Tim Stutzler from Mannheim with the number three pick. Jake Sanderson was taken at number five and forward Wrigley Greg from the Brandon Wheat Kings was taken at number 28. But Dorian didn't stop there. The next day, he took goaltender Matt Murray and acquired him from the Pittsburgh Penguins. The, the two-time Stanley Cup champion will help stabilize the net and help the club after Craig Anderson has moved on following a decade in the net. Another key move was the acquisition of Evgeny Dadnoff from the Florida Panthers. He scored 82 goals over the last three seasons and is the kind of guy who can help this club's power play. Coach DJ Smith, heading into his second season behind the bench, is looking forward to the changes the club has made and the development of the young players like Willan and Branstrom and the aforementioned Formington, Norris, and Batherson. So, the Senators will play in an All-Canadian division when the season does get underway January 15th, and that's going to be interesting to watch to see how they stand up to the test of playing guys like Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, and Patrick Laine as many as 10 times in a season. So, stay tuned to Post Media for all the coverage. We're going to have more great guests on the Post Media Senators panel in 2021. But right now, I'm just going to relax by my Christmas tree. For Post Media in Ottawa, I'm Bruce Garriock.